Want an easy and quick way to create custom skyboxes for your 3D projects? I've recently been playing around with an impressive AI tool for creating skyboxes, and I wanted to bring it to your attention. The tool is made by Blockade Labs and is available online at blockadelabs.com. It is currently still in alpha and has been released as a research tool, so for now, it is entirely free to use. For those of you wondering what a skybox is, let me briefly explain. A skybox is a simple trick that 3D games and simulations use to make the world look bigger and more realistic. It's essentially a large cube that surrounds the game world, with an image projected on the inside that looks like the sky or a distant landscape. This negates the need to use 3D objects to render far-off places, such as a distant mountain range. A mountain range on the horizon is not going to change much from the perspective of a player, and so, skyboxes are a neat trick in rendering such background elements in an efficient way. Anyway, let's take a look at Blockade Labs and their AI Skybox Generator. Open a browser and go to blockadelabs.com. Click on the Conjure Your World button. A pop-up message will appear. Click Confirm. You should see an example skybox of a mountainous terrain. There should be a box at the bottom of the page with a text field where you can enter a text prompt. Here you should describe the landscape that you want your skybox to depict. Let's try it now. First, let's try a Martian landscape with an active volcano in the distance. Notice there is a drop-down menu to the right of the prompt text box. This allows you to assign various styles to your skyboxes. For this skybox, let's go with a realistic style. Once you are happy with the prompt and style, hit the Generate button. It can take a minute or so for your skybox to be generated. And here is our Martian landscape fully rendered. If you are happy with the result, you can download a copy by clicking the download link. The tool is even capable of generating interior views. I'll give you a quick example. I'm going to enter the text prompt, a cavernous but empty Egyptian tomb with hieroglyphs on the walls. This time, I'm going to select the interior views style. Let's hit generate again. And here's the result. Pretty amazing especially considering this is a free tool. You can obviously import these skyboxes into any 3D graphics software or game engine. However, I will now show you how to import one of the generated skyboxes into Unity, since this is the application that I am most familiar with. I'm just going to create a new Unity project. I'm using the latest version of Unity 2022 here. I'm going to use the 3D Sample Scene URP template. The new Unity project has opened in the editor. First off, I'm going to create a folder called Skyboxes. This will contain both my Skybox texture and material. I've downloaded one of the Skybox images that we generated earlier and saved it to my desktop. It's the Martian landscape, which has been rendered as an equi-rectangular image. To import this into our project, we simply drag the image file from the desktop and drop it into the Unity editor. Drop it into the Skyboxes folder specifically. Upon importing, Unity converts this image into a texture asset. Now, select the Skybox texture and go to the Inspector panel. We will need to change this texture's settings in order to make it compatible with a Skybox material, which we will create shortly. Most importantly, we need to change the texture shape. Click on the Texture Shape drop-down menu and set it to Cube. Now expand the Advanced section and untick Generate MIP Maps. To make sure your skybox is sharp, I would set filter mode to point. I would also recommend setting texture compression to none. Take into consideration your target platform when setting the max size of the texture. Hit apply after making your changes. Okay, next we need to create the skybox material. Right click inside the folder contents view to bring up the context menu. From the menu, click on create and then material. A new material should be created inside the skyboxes folder. I am renaming the material to Martian Skybox here. With the Skybox material selected, go to the Inspector panel. First, we need to change the material's shader. Go to the Shader property and click on its drop-down menu. From the Shader's menu, click on Skybox and then select Cube Map. The Skybox material properties will now change to reflect the new Cube Map shader. We need to supply this material with a Cube Map texture. And for this, we will use our Martian Landscape texture. Drag the Martian landscape texture from the Skyboxes folder into the materials cube map slot. Our Skybox material is now ready. 
The final step is to set our skybox material as the skybox for our current scene. In Unity, this is done in the Lighting Settings panel. Go to the top menu bar and select Window, then Rendering, and then Lighting. The Lighting panel will appear. Click on the Environment button from the bar at the top. The skybox material is set in the very first property of the environment settings. Simply drag our Martian skybox material onto this slot. And that's it. Our new skybox is all set up in our scene. Before we close the lighting panel, however, there is one last thing I need to show you. By default, the scene's skybox will influence lighting and reflections in the scene. If you are using baked lighting, the environment lighting and reflections will need to be regenerated. Notice the auto-generate checkbox at the bottom of the panel. This is usually on by default, but if it is not, you will need to hit the generate lighting button manually after changing the skybox. Okay, so now your skybox and scene lighting are set up correctly. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.